can still hear the Jays doing their alarm. Um, I'm not sure if the hawk is back or if they're just calling. <clears throat> but on cloudy days, one of the reasons that the hawks like to hunt on cloudy days like this when there's a lot of overcast is because they don't cast a shadow and the birds can't see uh, them coming. You know, shadows play a lot, a big role in everything, you know, because they can, they can see the shadow. Even if they don't hear the hawk diving down on them, they can see the shadow and they can react to the shadows going over their heads and they can get out of the way in time. But I hear them on the next street over in the Oaks. So something is going on. I'm not sure if it's the ravens or the hawks, but I know hawks like to hunt on days like this. They like to hunt on days like this when it's a lot of overcast. But they're back there and those trees back up in there. So I was going to hold off a little while longer putting any seeds out because um, I can't see where it is. And everybody is kind of like undercover, even right over here. They're in, the, they're in the bushes over here hiding. The sparrows are. So I'm going to wait about another 30 minutes to see if it slacks up. And then I'm gonna toss some seeds out so that uh, they can feed because they they do feed in the in the rain. They don't stop eating. They feed in the rain. Anyway, shalom, shalom. There's a bird that makes a really nice flute sound, and I'm trying to catch it. Um, it lives in the tree in the front. Hey, little sparrow. Come on down. Come on. I know you've been waiting. I've been waiting for the rain to stop. I threw some seeds out. Threw some seeds out and some mushrooms and some berries. And uh, they're starting to gather. The sparrows have been coming to see me a lot lately. They've been pecking at the window. A lot of these are young chicks. Juvenile chicks. Hey, Jay. I knew Jay was going to be over here. Jay works hard, really hard. They're really good gatherers. They're also hoarders, so they're going to be back and forth, picking up stuff, leaving. Okay, starting to get some thunder and some lightning, so I got to get off my phone. I don't want to get truck or anything. Anyway, shalom, shalom. Bye, babies. Bye, little birdies. Told you they were eating the rain. Squirrels are out. It's still raining. Um, it's not raining hard. It's like a drizzle. Moderate. Drizzle. Sprinkle. But. They're out there. There were a few birds out there too. But. Um, their feathers get waterlogged. So. They'll probably wait until it slacks up some.
And then they'll come down and eat. But those nuts and berries are going to be out there. There's no problem for that to get wet. Nuts and berries and put some mushrooms out there. They like mushrooms. And uh, I think there's some almonds. Put some almonds and some uh, seeds out there. Seeds aren't going anywhere. So you see, they do eat in the rain. So you don't have to worry about not putting out anything when it rains because, I mean, like if, if it's bread or crackers or something like that, of course that's going to get soggy. And uh, that, that's going to leave a little mess. But if you stick to just the hard uh, foods like the nuts and the seeds and the berries, it doesn't matter if that gets wet. You know, they're still going to eat. If you can see them, a couple, there's three squirrels out. It's usually six squirrels. I see the sparrows in the brush over there hopping around in the bush. They're trying not to get their feathers wet. And um, the jays stopped the alarm system. So whatever was out there is, is not there anymore. <clears throat> but um, starting to get some sprinkles on the window. But, um, um, they will eat in the rain, so you don't have to think that because it's raining not to put any feed out, because they do eat in the rain, just like we eat when it's raining. Why wouldn't they eat when it's raining? They're going to eat, they're going to gather up some stuff. And uh, they may get their little paws muddy, but they're going to stash some nuts, too. Sounds like it's stopping the, the rain. It only thunder for a little while, <clears throat> but uh, I, I usually turn my phone off when it's raining. When it's a lot of lightning, I turn it off. But... There's one over there. There's usually four to six squirrels in this yard. I guess the others are either probably taking a nap. It's, uh, I think it's about one o'clock, one thirty. They take afternoon naps. And they wake back up and get busy again. That's it for today. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. See, the gang's all here. Well, the sparrows were here a minute ago. Blue Jay. <clears throat> Squirrels are still here. Uh oh. Jay, why did you do that? Jay. And uh the uh doves are over there with some of the blue jays <clears throat> and the grackles are over here. Usually the grackles are the um uh oh, I just saw a big shell fly over, and they all scattered. Got a couple of um gray tails, gray tail juveniles back there. See, they they eat on rainy days. They come to feed on rainy days. The rain does not deter them from feeding. Unless it's like maybe a really bad storm, hurricane or something like that. I 
just had lunch. It's almost two o'clock. Oh, my porch got water sauce. I still have to sanitize it though with some uh, Lysol. Hey, hey, little ones. You probably can't see them. Sparrows are really good camouflage. Hey, little ones. Hey, little grackle. Hey, lovey doveys. I saw a big shadow just fly right over. I'm not sure if that was the uh, raven because they came yesterday. Or it might be the hawk. He likes to hunt on days like this. You, you really cannot see that shadow. But uh, I saw something just swoop through here. <clears throat> right over my head just now. See, the gang is all here. You just can't see them through the screen. I have the door shut. Still got to get that WD-40 too. Because I can't sneak up on them without that WD-40. My door is creaking. So they're, they're all back there. The squirrels were out here a few minutes ago. They're, they're coming back. I'm chasing everybody off so they can get the nuts. There's plenty back there. And... The grass has been cut, so uh, it's a lot lower, so it's easier for them to see the nuts and stuff and the berries. I put some pieces of bread out there. I'm not sure if it got uh, wet or not, but they're going to eat it. They're all in that bush right there. You can see them flying in and out and back and forth to the bush. Little sparrow. Little cute self. They're so cute. <laughs> and there's Lovey Dovey keeping watch. Doves always keep watching. They take turns going down to eat. But at least one will keep watch. very devoted they have a devotion to their mate and to their flock very strong bond these are collared doves I hadn't seen the morning dove in a long time she's smaller than them I hope the hog didn't get her That's a dog keeping watch. He watching too. Like at full attention. So I know the hawk was here last week. It's probably still around. They were making a lot of noise earlier. <clears throat> the Jays were. I put some mushrooms out there. The squirrels might take that and, and regrow. They might regrow some mushrooms back over there at that tree over there. There used to be some back there. I hadn't seen them lately. This tree over here is dying. I hope it makes it through this winter. Bye, lovey 
dummies. Oops. Something is flying up there. Spooking everybody off. Even the squirrel ran. Something's out there. It might be Shredder again. Shredder might be out there. I know last week it was two of them. Uh, I got the film. Uh, I just caught, barely caught, uh, one flying behind the other. Let's see, a squirrel ain't in a tree. Something spooked the squirrels. Well, they all ran back in the tree. They ran back in the tree. So something's out there. Good thing the dove was watching. They're all up in the tree now, way up there in the tree. Keeping quiet. The sparrows are in the bush. They're always in the bush. They're so cute. <laughs> little cuties. They look like little chicks, little, little baby chicks. They're just as cute. They're in the bush. They're always in the bush. Well, something is out there because they're all hiding. Hey there. Up in the tree, hiding. Poor thing. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. It's hard for them to concentrate uh, when I'm tapping on the window and stuff. Anyway, shalom, babies. Shalom, shalom.